to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yep. Ah, 
the band, um, all these overnights, are, will they, will they be ready with, are, is there a band teacher coming? Yes, there is one, we're, we're voting on one. Oh. Um, it, um, uh, in the consent added um, appointments, personnel. Perfect. Yeah, so, so my understanding, that none of these travel, none of this travel has to do with marketing band, but my understanding is that um, any extracurriculars involving band um, will be taken care of by the new, if we vote yes, <laughs> the new, uh, the new uh, band director of the high school, um, or this has been um, tagging that, except for the marketing band stuff that will still be covered by Mrs. Oswald. Until the end of marching band season, which is I think the first or second week of November. But these things are like back in March, I think. Okay. Yeah. One one's January, two January, some February. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, the band, District Ten band, uh, District Ten orchestra, and then the regional, and then one of those chorus. So that'll be this event. And two of them, yeah, two of the chorus, so that is that. But yeah, the new person who we will be hopefully hiring tonight <coughs> will be in charge of all those events.
program out of consent. Um, 6112. I got a motion for that. I'll make it. I got a second. Second. Um, got the um, monthly meeting session scheduled for 2024. Just stuck with the basic. Um, basic um, um, rules of uh, second and fourth month, uh, month and what the second and fourth Monday of the month unless we have a holiday that impacts it and so then we either push it up or down um, and uh, self health, health and safety plan um, in order for us to get out we have to um, re up. So um, anything change in that? Yeah. Um, yeah. No, there's no change. Right now, uh, in case of COVID, it's it's the same across the county, essentially, at this point, following doctor's recommendation guidance. We're not uh, quarantining, obviously, or anything like that. It's um, mass optional. Uh, but again, it's, it's really about following that guidance from your, your personal family doctor. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, any, any other comments, questions, concerns? Thank you both. Mrs. Leone? Yes. Mrs. Olson? Yes. Mr. Strobel? Yes. Mrs. Thompson? Yes. Mrs. Lover? Yes. Mrs. Bell? Yes. Mr. Jerk? Yes. Motion passes. Okay. Personnel added consent. Um, 7A, 1 through 4. Yep. Can um, I get a for those? Can you guys hear me? Yep. Yes. Uh, Shane Cockle, 830 Guy from Cabaret. Um, Jimmy, at the last meeting, brought up the, your, your board on the way in and how um, where they post like uh, holidays, religious events, and stuff like that. And oh, right. uh, today is Yom Kippur. It's their holiest day of, the, of their Jewish calendar. And it's not on the board. And I was wondering, you know, if the, 
I'm not sure whose job it is to make sure all this stuff is being followed and kept up. And uh, I don't understand how the Jewish holiday, their one of their most important holidays, was left off the board. Uh, the second thing I'd bring up Tiff again, as usual. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm sending all my information to the state. The state, the person who's in charge of the TIF, and I sent you his information, I sent you his, his uh, phone number, I sent you the rules and regulations of the TIF, one where it is, a, it is uh, you need to post every TIF meeting for the public. There can't be private meetings on the TIF. They can't be uh, closed meetings. Every meeting has to be open to the TIF. Um, the other thing is, and I've told you guys this before, there's several criteria to meet. One of the most important ones is, can the developer pay for it himself? So I have all the information on that. I called the state, I talked to the, the, the gentleman at least twice. He still has no idea that this is going on, other than me bringing it to his attention. Um, one, one of the things is, can a developer pay for it? The developer, with my research, can clearly pay for it. They own a property, they own 280 EDUs, and they got a waiver of a million dollars for their recreational fee. So, probably around a $7 million savings that they're, they're starting off at really ground zero. So I just want to let you know, guys know that the guy from the state who's going to be making the final decision still doesn't know. All your meetings have to be legally posted for the community to come and there needs to be hearings. I sent you all this information. It's on the state's website. You can look it up. Uh, doesn't seem like anyone's doing any other homework on this, except me. And uh, I'll just leave it at that. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Shane. Hey, Ross. Was the bulletin board changed at all since the last time? It, yes. It has been changed? It has been changed. Okay. How many bulletin boards are there? It's the one right down, right down, right right down here in the hallway. Jimmy calls it the propaganda board. Tell him what it is. Just like that. Yeah. Uh, I was actually going to respond. I don't know the exact count of bulletin boards in the high school. I would approximately greater than 20. I'm just suggesting that maybe young boards on another bulletin board somewhere else that every board can't be exactly the same. That's where I was going. I don't know that to be factual. I'm just using a little logic to think that every board. Because I know it was in another document that was sent out. Um, or the school, was. From, you know, rec recognized it. You know, how far do you recognize it? You know, I mean, how many boards do you put it on? Is it all 20? Is it like 15 of them? Or right. 10 of them? So I thought it was where my, my question would go immediately. Like, yeah, you know, and, and, and truth be told, bulletin boards are, are a very tricky thing because oftentimes they end up becoming um, a certain club might take over this and uh, a certain teacher might have ownership of that. Um, it's something, again, from my experience, we actually ran into before. And we ended up taking out a number of the bulletin boards and putting up uh, digital TVs, something that's a little bit easier to keep current with the content, and it's something that can actually be managed a little bit better rather than walk around and kind of going and finding out, you know, what is it that's up, what's current, what's out of date, are we telling the message that we want? And keeping it current is a little easier. That's, that's the biggest thing. So, again, a lot of these things, I, I don't minimize what it is that's being said. I think there's probably a better way to go about um, getting more accurate, up-to-date content out there, uh, consistent with the messaging of the district. Um, but we'll probably end up leading that through our communications and marketing portion of the uh, strategic planning process. There's a subcommittee focus on that. Is the, is the calendar not posted on the district website? So th this comes up, and I, I want to talk about this a little bit, because there, there's a significant amount of talk about you know, which holidays do we as a school district recognize now, I've never really worked in a school district where we said, these are the holidays as a district that we are going to celebrate. 
Um, but we have had issues with this before, and it was a bit of a uh, speed bump for us as a district. So we spent a lot of time, a lot of time, talking about what is that we celebrate. Do we just do the ones that are recognized by PBE? Um, do we do the ones that uh, are meaningful for the students within our community? And we basically end up landing on the, we'll recognize everything, but then because there are so many religious holidays that end up falling when we're on the same thing. Yeah. So we ended up saying, okay, you know what, let's sidestep the religious holidays. And this has nothing to do with bulletin boards, by the way. This is on our website. I don't think we actually developed a concrete plan for bulletin boards. Um, but we just said, let's just sidestep all, all religious holidays to make sure that we're not um, isolating one or another. And then every other holiday, we'll try to do our best to recognize. I don't think there's a win in this because there's no right way to do it. There's yeah. really not. And I do, um, I do think that um, what uh, what um, Mr. Volker said um, that you know him coming in here, um, he doesn't, you know, he didn't want to come in and burn it all down, right? So the so the uh, the idea was that we we're going to be doing the strategic plan. There is specifically one for communication and marketing. There's going to be a subcommittee. Because that where that's where a lot of our energy has to go into. Those are things that we're hearing from the community. We need to fix um, or do better. Um, and so, um, you know, maybe um, that would be um, a big topic of discussion. But that also means that um, we're not going to be putting a lot of treasure into making a fix right now. If we're going to be discussing, you know, we, we can definitely try to make some changes, like it looked like somebody made some changes, so at least it was, it, it, it was it's not the same as it was like, you know, six months ago right now. But, um, but it's not like, I think that what Mr. Volker said was a good idea to, to install some some uh, less expensive LCPVs and, you know, be able to control it from the office, but we're not going to spend money on that until we go through the strategic planning process. I think you did that. How often would you change the board? couldn't get all the content on a, on a six by four foot board, and you'd run out of days. You couldn't get all the, every content for everything you want to do versus, you know, and that's, that's, and that, I think and that's holidays. I don't, I don't know if the board is reflective of we're not recognizing the Jewish holiday because it's not on there as all as I'm saying. Because I do think we do recognize it. For, um, and, and but I think that that, that, that's that, that that's yeah. to start with, I think that that, since we're, we're just starting in like three weeks, you know, so I think it'll be a, a good topic of discussion for the um, strategic planning groups. So, um, anybody else have any other thoughts? Don't forget we have an executive session.